Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the channel and I'm down here with my good buddy CJ He's my neighbor and he's down here doing a little fishing and we're gonna see if we can get on a few fish I just hooked him up with some cool Z-Man baits and hopefully he can catch a big one because he needs it and So we're gonna get out here. We're gonna see if we can catch a fish. I'm throwing jerk bait crank bait He's throwing some Z-Man stuff and hopefully we'll get on some fish. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. All right, everybody, first thing I am gonna throw is this Rapala jerk bait that I've been throwing the past couple videos because that's been getting me some fish. So we're gonna chuck it right down here and see what happens. Ah, he went after it so many times there. I missed him. All right, guys, I switched up this little rebel. This is a wake bait, and I switched my jerk bait up to a suspending jerk bait just because I think that might be the better way to go right now. And I wanted to do the little Wait, bait guy for the top. There's a fish right there. Sucked it in on the wake bait. Oh, and we lost him. I don't even know what he was. But he tagged it. Well. There's a bunch of commotion going on right here. We got that guy, finally. Well, we're not skunked anyway. Finally got a fish. Alright guys, little bluegill. Nothing big, but we'll take him too bad. I got him on this little, this is a little wake bait, uh, rebel wake bait. You can get them at Field and Stream or Walmart most of the time. Let's see if we can do that again. We'll catch another one. I think there's a few over there, so. Oh, there was. Something took a swipe at him. Got him. Another gill. This is a bigger one. A prettier one, too. Alright guys, another bluegill, nice one, see you bud. Alright guys, let's see if we can get number three out of the gill pile. That's not quite where I wanted to go, but we'll give it a whirl. Get back out there a little bit. Deeper water where they're hanging. Trying to fish around these weeds though. Just 
tricky business. There we go. That's a good guy. That should get us off. There we go. Got him. It's a nice one. Number three on the gill. Boy, we could be having a fish fry tonight if we were keeping bluegills. Ooh, this guy's had a run in with the snapping turtle. You're good. They can hear they can literally hear you walk up. I know. I mean so. <laughs> It's sunk. We gotta try to find it. Ew. You guys wanna see something cool? Uh oh. Let's go look. So, this is a bluegill, but see that right there? Yeah. That means a turtle took a bite out of you. That's not cool. Yeah, there's some big turtles in here. That's why they don't yep. swim in here anymore. Yep. But we're gonna let him go, okay? Because I don't like to keep these guys. I like to let them go so we can catch them another day. Yep. We're gonna chuck them back in there. Let's see, he's off. There's a bunch of bluegills on beds here, and I saw a pretty decent bass just spook out of here. Got him. Little bass. Little bass. On the waker bait. Alright guys, little bass, nothing big, but we'll take him. See you bud. Yeah, there's a bunch of gills on bed right here. Fighting like crazy. Let's see if we can get another one. Alright everybody, I switched to a MEPS number two spinner. I'm gonna give that a whirl. My little crankbait wasn't getting it done, so that's what we're gonna chuck now and see what we can get a hold of keeps getting snagged up on stuff so we're gonna try the spinner see if maybe that will get us a bite Guys, a bite, and that's not a that's not a little fish. That's actually a bass. Yeah, guys, a bass right there. Not a bad one either. That's what we're looking for right there. Something of that nature. All right, there we go. Nice, healthy, chunky bass. I'll take that. Mep spinner. Heck yeah. Alright everybody. That's a nice little bass. That's a nice healthy bass. Got him on the Meps number two spinner. Let's get him back in the water. We'll take that. We like those little chunky monsters. Alright, bud. Alright, Meps number two spinner. As I've said in many, many videos, this is a great go-to bait when you're not catching anything. You just want to get fish, get on it, chuck it. I've caught some of my biggest fish on it. I've caught nice big five, six, seven pound bass on it. I've caught smallmouth on it. I've caught stripers on it. I've caught trout on it. It's a solid all around bait. Really nice thing about these spinners, you can fish them at whatever depth you want. I'm counting it down a little bit, letting it go down a little bit, and then you, you can fish it off the bottom. You can fish it in the top of the water column, bottom of the water column. They're just great solid baits to get bites and I've caught everything from big fish to carp to freaking you name it I've caught on a MEP spinner it's just one of those solid all round baits that will get you fish no matter what if you're not getting weeds all over it anyway but they do well 
Every state I've been to and fished in, I've caught fish on a MEP spinner. Yeah, I didn't remember, but little bass. Little bass. All right, guys, little bitty bass. Bait's almost as big as he is. Hey, bud. Guys, this is my Rapala sinking jerk bait. I got him on. I feel like I need to switch to maybe something different. All right, guys, I threw a Ned rig on. I'm going to chuck in these trees. Let's see if I can find me a bass. Something bigger. Got him. Little bass. Little bass. On the Ned Rig. Nothing big, but he's a bass. See you, bud. Get snagged up. Move this thing here, bud. We're going for the gusto. There's a fish. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get off that tree. Go out. Go out. There you go. Go out. Go out. There you go. Oh, get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. That's a good bass, too. Get out of the tree. Out of the tree, you goof. Swim out of the tree. Out of the tree. Come on, swim out of the tree. There's a good one. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, we got him. Whew. What's some doing, but we got a better bass that way. Look at that, guys. You would think I'd have frayed up some line, but look. You got us a decent bass on our Ned rig. That's what I like. All right, we had to work at him, but we got him, and we got him out of there safe too, so he can go back and get bigger. <laughs> See something funny? That's how twisted up my line was. I'm trying to get that bass out of there. <laughs> Crazy, right? So I got him on this Ned rig. I forget what color this this one is called. Um, maybe you guys can. I can't remember colors on, but he's a one tenth ounce um, jig head. And uh, well, we got to retie because we got a little bit of roughness there, but. That's what got her done. That was awesome. All right, guys, if you're wondering what kind of knot I tie on my jigs like this, I tie what's called a loop knot. It's where you make this little loop like this. Okay, we're going to make this little loop. And then we're going to run our line back through our bait. 
and then we're going to go back through the loop we just made like so and then I'm going to bring it down to the bait and then I'm going to hold it then I'm going to do three twists one two three and then I'm going to go back through that little loop like so and then I'm going to pull it and then you guys can see it pull I'm going to wet it real quick and then pull it the rest of the way and then pull it snug like so and I'm going to cut it and then you got this little loop I don't know if you guys can see it, see the loop there's a little loop there, and what that does, that allows your bait to free, instead of being tied at the knot where it doesn't give as much action, it allows it to give that bait a lot more action, a lot more free movement like that, bouncing around, and it's a real great knot. I've caught really big fish on it with no problems, and it works awesome, and it definitely gives your baits, your swim baits, jerk baits, and things like that, a lot more action, so I highly recommend it, and I gotta say thank you to the guys from Salt Strong for their video for teaching me how to do it, so try it out. All right, guys, we're going to see if we can get one over there at the island. Since I'm pretty sure that disturbed the whole... And, oh, we had them. We had one. Grabbed it right out the gate. I just didn't get a good hook set on him, I guess. One that grabbed it, he was running with it. Let's see if we can do that again. Try to get back out there because I know there's some fish hanging on that, that island. There we go, right there. That's right on the island. Yep. Yep, got him. I knew there'd be one there. Sure enough. There we go. Another nice little bass. Nothing big, but I knew there was one there. He's a little guy. See you, bud. Alright, guys, that's two on the Ned rig. Let's see if we can get another one. That's a great cast right there. Alright everybody, it's been kind of an interesting day, a little bit of throwing everything to try to get some bites. Oh, there's one. Bass. Steam in, little fat guy on a jerk bait. We'll take that. Not a bad little bass. Alright guys, nice little bass, little pond bass on the jerk bait. Bud. So, it's my little sinking rapala, and he was right near that tree right there. That little guy just came out and hammered it. Oh, God, I thought that was a lot bigger fish than that. Boy, he just came out and he killed that thing. Wow. Ooh, calm down, Junior. You're not going nowhere.
that yeah. little guy hammered that jerk. Again, jerking it right over this log. And that's where he came from. I saw that. The way he went down and hit it, I thought it was a bigger fish. All right, guys, we got one on the bottom of the, of the water, on the top of the water. I mean, on the bottom, the middle. Let's see if we can get one on the top. bait stir somebody up press my luck again uh, I don't want to do that uh, and of course I caught a fish <laughs> All right, guys, what am I supposed to do with that? Where's he going? It's going somewhere good for me. Let's see if we can do this. He's not big. Oh, and he got off right there. <laughs> that was a little bass. Uh, talk about some trickery. I did not mean for that to happen. All right, guys, you tell me, does, did that count? <laughs> he did land on the bank before he fell back in, but yeah, it was not quite the cast I wanted to make to get that little guy. Back to the jerk bait. Got one. He's in a bunch of muck and everything else, but he's not a bad bass on the jerk bait. Got a lot of salad with it, but we'll take it. That guy is a little skinny, but we'll take him. All right, little nice pond bass. They sure are pretty. Well, everybody, that's a wrap. That was my afternoon of fishing. Um, caught some fish, ended up finally getting on some bass. Nothing big, but had fun. Um, it was a little hot. Um, I was actually going by the bass forecast, and it said fishing was going to be good between 3 and 5. And, uh... That thing is pretty good. It's not always accurate, but today it was. I mean, that's pretty much when the bite was on, and it died off after that. And uh, you guys saw what I caught, and you saw what I used. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun fishing today. Um, enjoyed it. Um, again, jerk baits, getting it done, crank baits, stuff like that. And uh, Ned Rig as well. And, uh, yeah, just a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. So uh, that's all I got for you guys. And, yeah. Um, the only thing I got to say is uh, just do yourself a favor, get out there, get your lines wet, catch some fish.